Okay, um, we're in Auckland now, and I'm going to see my electric motor for the first time. All right, look at this. Oh my god. All the way from NH, somewhere in America. All right. Oh, that's heavy. Far out. Is my electric motor. I'm pretty stoked. It's arrived all the way from Wolfborough in NH, somewhere in America. My new motor, straight from EV America. Also get a folder full of all kinds of useful stuff and a DVD as well for installation. Very good. Safety, so we can go from the bottom because then when we get it in, we'll uh, <laughs> so try not to hang it. This guy's trying to lift the 80 kilo electric motor into a car. Hey! Hey, success! Almost. Not yeah. in a car yeah. yet. Yeah. Alright! Alright. Yeah, that was a nice. Like well done, guys. Yeah. It's great. Whew. Nice. I've just dropped the uh, gearbox and electric motor off at a local engineer to have an adapter plate made up. So hopefully, um, by the time I get back from Slovakia, everything will be all sorted. All right. There's been a little bit of a delay while uh, we get the motor installed. I'm currently in Slovakia, driving on the wrong side of the road and the wrong side of the car on the wrong side of the world. So, uh, in a few days, once I get married, I uh, will be back in New Zealand working on the electric car. So I can figure out how to give way to the left. That's all very foreign. Oh, oh, okay, he's signaling me. All right, this is all a bit weird. call from the engineer, the uh, motor and gearbox adapter has been created, so we're driving out there now to pick it up. Okay, the electric motor and the adapter plate that's been made up here in Space Engineering in New Plymouth is going to the van and it's going back to our house. <laughs> Hi, I've got my chiropractor on speed dial. The wing mirror. Sorry. <laughs> oh, anywhere. Oh. Ow. Splinter. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's a close-up look at the adapter plate. Very nicely done. You can see the remains of the old clutch disc uh, spline here, which has been joined into this giant joiny bit. <laughs> More technical terms being used. First of all, I'll put the gearbox in the engine bay. I have to do all of this without a hoist, unfortunately. Well, I'll put the gearbox on top of the motor coupler just to make sure it fits okay, and it's spot on. Really perfect. Wonderful job. So we're going to chuck it in the engine bay as soon as Rob gets here. He's taking his time. He's supposed to be here an hour ago. Bloody slack ass, you took your time. How about you now, eh? <laughs> Want a cup of tea? Then we've got to get this in here. He's just sitting down. <laughs> Okay, technical difficulties. We don't have enough bolts that fit. Uh, things have changed since the uh, adapters come back from the engineer, so we've got to go up the road to the uh, hardware store and see if we can find some bolts. Alright, I've just been to the hardware store. We've got some more bits and pieces now. Let's see if we can make the gearbox adapter fit. We had to go up the road to uh, Super Cheap Auto to get some uh, bolts and things that, uh, that we needed, which is brilliant. They had a fantastic su supply there, which is very good. So now we're just putting in the gearbox first, and then we're going to put in the electric motor right where my head is. Shit, 
cutting the flow sharp. Unfortunately, the gearbox hasn't gone on the first time. Uh, you can see here the drive shaft we're hitting on, trying to get the uh, trying to get the adapter plate in. It's hitting this drive shaft here, so I have to take the gearbox back to the sorry, the motor back to the uh, engineer, so they can just shave off maybe about 10 mil of here. So uh, back to the drawing board for just a moment. I can't see a damn thing. I think. Oh, look, you're on. I think it's on. You're in. Oh God. <laughs> it's like getting oh. birth. <laughs> Got the motor in. Fan bloody testing. Taken many months and a lot of hard work, we've got the motor in. Well, we've still got a couple of uh, engine mount supports I've got to create. I'll find a, uh, a welder to chuck some of those together. But otherwise, we've got the Mitsubishi gearbox and this massive nine inch motor strapped into the engine bay at last. One massive achievement, one massive box ticked on the list of things to do for the electric car. Bloody good. Okay, we're just going to do a very, very light test run using this really poor 12 volt battery or one of the cells isn't working, so it's only about 10 volts. Just going to actually see if it's moving. We've got the car in neutral, so uh, let's connect the battery up and see if anything happens. Are you ready? Oh shit, we've got action. Oh wow. Fantastic! It's alive! It's dying! <laughs> oh, it's not sounding happy. That's marvellous! Woohoo! I'm going to see if we can get the front wheel spinning without blowing the battery up. Are you ready? Fan bloody tastic! Look at that! Alright! Oh, and that's the end of that battery. Okay, we've got the motor in as you can see. Um, now the only thing that's stopping us is uh, a motor bracket which I'm having made up. So um, hopefully within a couple of days we'll have the, uh, the motor bracket in the, uh, in the engine bay and everything will work. Uh, in the meantime, I have the first of my battery charges, first of 12. Uh, I bought that the other day and a turbo timer, but you'll have to wait to see the reason for that. I'm not going to give you any clues. Okay, now I'm waiting for an engineer to show up to uh, create a bracket to hold the electric motor into the car properly. Um, so, hopefully he's going to arrive today and then we can get the, uh, the motor installation ticked off. In the meantime, I'm just having a bit of playing around with this old battery that's seen better days. Connecting up the motor. That sounds good. Imagine the noise difference if that was a, uh, that was a petrol engine. Sounds marvellous. Well, I'm about to put some more oil in the gearbox. Some of you may have already noticed that I've put oil in the gearbox before. Unfortunately, it got knocked over a few weeks ago and all the oil spilled out all over the garage floor, so I'm putting some more in. Anyone that's done gearbox oil before will know that it really smells bad. <laughs> it's not the sort of thing you want all over your floor. The welder should be here any second now. I am now the proud owner of one piping hot motor mount ready to strap into the electric motor. You see the motor connects to the engine mount here and simply bolts on to the motor right there. We checked it all, everything fits okay. I just need a couple of um, uh, imperial bolts to fit here because uh, all I've got is metric. So otherwise, that's it. Engine mount's complete, motor's in, and put the video on YouTube. <laughs>